Functional complexity is proof of intelligent design. In this video, we establish the thesis that functional complexity is proof of intelligent design. Details. 1. Functional complexity is a low probability arrangement of parts that fulfills a higher function or purpose. The function cannot be fulfilled by any one of those individual parts. The arrangement of parts is needed for the fulfillment of the function or purpose. 2. Functional complexity involves future purpose, i.e., by just looking at the parts separately, it is not clear what the future purpose would be. It requires intelligent design to look at the parts and to plan how to bring them together in a specific way, arrangement, to make the parts function together to create that future planned higher function or purpose. So future purpose requires intelligent design with the ability to think and plan ahead for an envisioned future. Three examples. A watch is an arrangement of parts. The arrangement of parts is needed to fulfill a higher function or purpose. That purpose is to tell time. B. A car is an arrangement of parts. The arrangement of parts is needed to fulfill a higher function or purpose. That purpose is to transport us from one place to another. C. Trains, airplanes, spacecraft, ships, boats, computers, cell phones. All of these fit the criteria above. D. Computer hardware, microprocessor, RAM memory, ROM memory, SSD drives, etc. D. Software, spreadsheet software, word processing software, database software, operating system software, etc. 4. Natural law cannot create functional complexity. This is because natural laws are predictable and create simple, predictable results. E.g., you drop a ball. The ball falls towards the ground. Its trajectory is predictable based on Newton's laws. And natural law cannot plan for future purpose. Natural law cannot bring together a collection of parts to make them work in synchrony to fulfill a higher functional purpose. 5. Random chance cannot create functional complexity. This is because random chance events are completely unpredictable, e.g. a tornado going through a junkyard, and random chance cannot plan for future purpose. Random chance cannot bring together a collection of parts to make them work in synchrony to fulfill a higher functional purpose. A tornado can completely destroy a car, but it cannot build a functioning car from random parts in a junkyard. 6. A major philosophical problem is how do we recognize the existence and the operation of other minds? You know that you have a mind, but how do you determine if I have a mind as well? You do so by looking at the products of my mind, e.g., my writing or my speech, or my building a watch from parts. My organizing of parts into a higher collective that has a higher function and purpose is proof that I have a mind, because neither natural law nor random chance can create a functioning watch. You can recognize the existence of my mind by recognizing the effects of intelligent design, a low probability arrangement of parts that provides a higher function or fulfills a higher purpose that is not provided by each of the parts. The evidence of functional complexity points to intelligent design. The presence of intelligent design points to the operation, existence, and presence of my mind. So it is completely rational to infer that I have a mind based on the functional complexity that I create through speech or writing or manual creation of a watch, for instance. 7. So the presence of functional complexity is proof of intelligent design. Conclusion. Functional complexity is proof of intelligent design. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.